All right, guys, yes, we are following so many developments and we want to start with what we know about Barry's landfall at this point. We are looking at landfall now sometime between 10 a.m. and noon west of New Orleans. The storm has moved a lot slower than originally expected, and that's where we're also scared about it stalling once it actually reaches land. Here's a look at the rescue efforts in Terrebonne Parish. 12 people were stranded in the Ile de Charles John and excuse me, Ile de John Charles. This is the first four of those 12 people who were being dropped off and taken to the shelter there. At least two more of them have now been picked up and brought to safety. And our Megan Key has been doing a great job following everything in Terrebonne Parish this morning. She's actually heading to that shelter to try to talk to those people who were rescued earlier this morning. And with the strong winds, we have to talk about power outages. Unfortunately, we're seeing a lot of those already. 14,000 now without power in Terrebonne Parish. That number has gone up gradually throughout the morning. 10,000 are without power in Jefferson. Many along the West Bank in Lower Jefferson. Lafouche has 6,000 without power, and East Baton Rouge is starting to see those winds. There's now 7,000 people without power there. And we did set up a help center to answer all of your questions. You can get in touch with our help center. Write down the number 504 529 64. And don't forget, you can get live real-time updates on our website, WWLTV.com, and our WWLTV app. For now, I'm going to send it back over to Tom and Leslie for more, guys.